All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the uh, five number analysis and draw a box plot. Now, if you remember the five number analysis, involves the minimum, that's our first number, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the max. And if you recall, the first quartile is the 25th percentile, and the third quartile is the 75th percentile. And also, of course, the median, that's the second quartile, but it's also the 50th percentile. So they're all connected, okay? So really, we've done the median before. So let's do that for each one of these. Well, the minimum, that's pretty easy to see. That's 8. So we get minimum is 8. All right, the first quartile. Now, to, if you remember from finding percentiles, this is, we count 25 times 12 divided by 100. This would give us um, one-fourth of 25 goes into 100 four times, 4 goes into 12 three times, so this is 3. Since that's an integer, we're going to count to the third one, 1, 2, 3, and the fourth one, so we have 12 plus 15 divided by 2, that's 27 divided by 2, which is 1 and 3.5. 13.5 is our that's our Q1. Okay, our median. Again, we can do the median. We did it before like a half, but you can do it with the percentile formula. 50 times 12 over 100, which is 6. So we would count to 5, 6, one more, and we would get 7. So you'd have 17 plus 20 divided by 2. That's 37 divided by 2, which is um, 1, 8.5, so that's our median. Now we get our Q3, which is 75 times 12 over 100. That would be, that's 3 fourths, goes in there 3 times, so that's 9. So again, it's an integer, so you get 7, 8, 9. And then you go one more 10, so this would be 23 plus 25 divided by 2, which is 48, divided by 2, which is 24. That's our Q3, and our max is 30. All right, so there's our five number analysis. The next piece is to draw the box plot. Now, the most important thing for the box plot is that you put a scale on here because the scale really sets how wide these intervals are. Um, and what I mean by intervals is between the min and the Q1, between the Q1 and the median and so on, because this box plot shows you the spread of the data. So let's make a uh, scale 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and that's really all we have to go. We keep going. I drew my line a little too long, but that's okay. All right, so now we're going to put a little line above our scale where each one of these are. So we have 8. I'll label it. And then the next one is 13.5. So that would be right here. The next one is 18.5, which let's say that's about there. And then we'll have 24 is here and then 30 which is there the max now we, we uh, connect the middle three and we connect the ends and we have our box plot